hello everybody, and welcome to yet another night here at the D&D Vibe Tribe with the Academy, a Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition and D20 Modern actual play podcast. I am your Dungeon Master, Riku. You can find me on social media as Pup Riku or Puppy Riku, depending on what app you're on. You can also find me here on the Vibe Tribe during five, playing in Friday Night Fights and Furusato. And tonight, our group of shoppers, as they were last episode, are now ready to uh, get going on the rest of what is happening in Portland. So let's reintroduce you to our cast. And I'm going to go starting with the first person on my screen, which is Minimoss. What's up, y'all? Minimoss, it's one eight. Uh, you guys can catch me on all the social, the same thing. You guys can also catch me here on the Vibe Tribe at Friday Night Fights, where uh, I'm one half of the reigning, defending IAW Tag Team Champions. You also can catch me here on the Academy playing Mr. Rashmi, who typically is pretty drunk, but hasn't been drinking recently. All right, and next up is Adolfo. Salud, this program is en guten Nacht. I am the Nerdy Puerto Rican, and... You can follow me uh, on the Instagrams and on the TikToks at the Nerdy Puerto Rican. Uh, in the really real world, uh, uh, this will probably come out afterwards, but I do perform with a uh, troupe called the Lords of Adventure as Diego de la Fiesta. Look for us at your local Renaissance Fair. Uh, I do also, also, also play uh, in some other games. I play in the Furisato uh, game here on the D&D Vibe Tribe and also the um, Friday Night Fights game here on the D&D Vibe Tribe. However, here in the Academy, I play Dagny Hooter Crypta, yeah, the resident necromancer, yeah, and food critic. Dottie's Diner, you have been warned, yeah. Oh boy. All right. And next up, we have Josh. Hello, hello, everybody. It is I, Josh. Uh, you can follow me on TikTok at MG Preacher. And you can follow me on Instagram at MG Preacher. Uh, correction, MG Preacher Man. Uh, my uh, last account was giving me some issues. But, uh, anyways, you can also find me on many actual play podcasts here on the D&D Vibe Tribe. Uh, so go and check those out. But uh, tonight I will be playing Thorgmir Zinehorn, a uh, a dwarf ranger, and I would not be complete without my canine companion Leonidas. Awesome, awesome. And next up we have our main man, Roll Sixes. Hey everybody, it's your boy Sixes, coming to you live and. Happily in his new place. Uh, some people commented that my microphone sounds different, so get used to these dulcet tones. Uh, tonight I'll be playing uh, your favorite gunslinger, Pow Pow, uh, Wyatt Luckbringer II. Um, I tell you what, he's excited because he got some new guns. Let's go. Awesome, awesome. Next up, we have Shiro. <laughs> Hey, hello, I am Dakota or Shiro. Uh, I'm here playing Alex, our Moon Druid for the Academy. Uh, you can also catch me over on Call of the Deep, playing Soren, the burb. Um, and you can also catch me on Mondays over on ADH Adventures um, for God's World Layer Phase 2. Fantastic. And last but not least, we have Sutfin. Hey everybody, it's Sutfin. Uh, tonight we're Edgar's dusting, uh, excuse me, dusting off his new robes, so to speak, and uh, we're gonna strut around town and see what we can find out. Wonderful. And as you can hear, uh, Mikey is not our our barbarian. Uh, Ramon is not here with us tonight. Uh, he's out having fun on a well-deserved break so uh i've been promised he'll be back next next time but uh always here take care of yourselves first so anywho 
before we get started, I want to give a quick shout out to Frag Maps. Uh, many of the maps that our players are going to be seeing here in the game are from Frag Maps. They put up some really cool modern and cyberpunky maps, and I have fallen in love with all of them. So, uh, big shout out to them. And uh, even though you can't see them here, make sure to check them out on Patreon, and you can see the maps for yourself as we go through. So, to recap from last session, uh, you all arrived in uh, Portland, Oregon. Um, I know we finished up a little bit of free time with uh, Edgar and Sut Edgar and uh, and Wyatt and Thorgmir and and then uh, Rashmi had quite the dream. And you all made your way to Portland, where you're starting on your next adventure, where you find out that they know the location of the Leyline Fount uh, in this area, but it's buried underground, and the magic surrounding it kind of solidified the ground, and they can't drill into it until the next rain. So our party has some decent amount of time to just hang out check out what's going on and see uh see what's what might be going on in this town they did a lot of shopping or uh at the mall and they also went to uh Annie Anne's, of course um and now it is the after it is like mid to late afternoon you just uh exited the mall and now it's time for you to choose what you want, where you want to go next. Uh, several different places you could go um, that you've been told about, such as the street market. You could go down to the outskirts. Uh, there's a convenience store, the diner, Chinatown, uh, and the port, as well as an alleyway you can go through. Um... You could also go back down to the construction site. Not really going to be much there, I'll be honest with you. Or you could just head back to the hotel and chill. <laughs> so, you just left the mall? Uh, I'd love for you guys to talk it out, figure out where you want to go next and what you want to do. So, re really quick. So, uh, going into the mall, Dagny was in his traveling clothes, which is uh, a, a nice black uh button up collared shirt with a white tie and a white and white pants and uh uh and a white a white jacket and he is you know he's a deep gnome so he's on the shorter end his his skin tone um is you know purplish he's got those round uh glasses right uh bald head um so when he that's what he looked like going into the mall but much like when he arrived at the academy, when he comes out of the mall, and no one probably noticed this, but he is now decked out in as much Portland reg regalia as he can get on. Like, if there's still like the Portland Trailblazers, he's got the the Portland Trailblazers jersey on, and he's got like a Portland hockey hat on, and like. Uh, shorts that like say Portland, you know, and like flip flops they say I heart Portland, and like little banners that have like the skyline of Portland and all that. And he's still floating on his tensors, floating disc, and he's being pushed around by Hans and and Weisel, his little weasel is is uh, on in between his legs, and he's still standing like with his hands behind his back and looking very much like he feels like he's a per person of importance. Um, so, uh, as he comes, uh, as, as he exits the mall, he will take a deep breath in and then he will exclaim, mine appetite has been pre-warmed. I wish to go to Dottie's diner. I, <laughs> I see Dagny now as kind of that one tourist that comes with that shows up to a place with one bag and then is leaving with like four or five. <laughs> oh, without a doubt. <laughs> All right. 
But cool. Uh, so it sounds so like Dag. Wyatt looks over at Dagny and 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 just kind of like straightens his Armani T-shirt and um and like does like that once over and he's like, uh, I tell you what, Dagny, uh. Are you sure you couldn't have found anything more garish? So, um, so, so Dagny will, will, will slowly pivot towards Wyatt on his, on his tensor floating disc. Right. And, uh, you know, he's got a smile on his face and he goes, why Frun Wyatt? I do not understand what, what, what you say. I feel whenever you are entering a new locale, you should blend in with the locals. Und? I am wearing the Portland attire, so I may blend in. Yeah. Oh, I tell you what. Yeah, you you're blending in all right, floating around on your tenses disc and whatnot. Let's go to the diner. I'm uh, maybe may, maybe we'll get lucky and somebody will spill a drink on your shirt. Well, that would that would be terrible. Yeah, I was told this is a one of a kind Portland trails blazer. Blazing of the Trail jersey, yeah. Yep. It's one of a kind. You're one of a kind, that thing. All right. So sounding like y'all want to go to the diner? I mean, yeah, we like walk out of the mall and like walk <laughs> eight steps to the diner. <laughs> All right. Go ahead and activate that. Riku's like, uh, yeah, no, guys, I, I didn't want to tell a story or anything. I thought you guys could go shopping and then go eat, you know, like that's no, that's... no, 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 nope, nope, nope. You're, this isn't bad at all. <laughs> Not one Re- bit. You are fine. Remember all the best fights happen in diners. <laughs> we'll True. see about that. <laughs> all right. So, uh, you walk in to Dottie's diner. Um, you do see a sign in the area that essentially says, uh, feel free to seat yourselves. Um, there, it's, it's pretty empty for this time of day. They get, uh, folks more during the day than at, in the evenings. So, um, you can feel free to, uh, go ahead and sit wherever you'd like. Um, you hear from the back, uh... This young uh, female voice just shout back, back. Go take a seat. I'll be with you in a moment. As yeah. uh, you hear pots and pans and such from the kitchen just uh, clanging about. Yeah, we shall we shall sit in the booth. Yeah, that that is where that is where I want to sit. Hans and. Uh, Dagny's uh, unseen servant will push Dagny on his tensor floating disc to one of those uh, booths over there, uh, and he will. Dagny will will when he gets you know close enough to the booth, he'll hold up his hand for Hans to stop, and then he will dramatically exit the tensor floating disc and sit, slide him, sliding himself as far into the the the. the booth diner as he can and uh he does the thing where he kind of like wiggles his butt in the seat to make himself comfortable and then he lays both hands on on the table as best he can because you know he's a gnome and he will just smile to everyone he says we are at dotties yeah i feel like he would need a high chair or something (laughs) or at least a booster seat or something (laughs) So, you all go and take your seats wherever you wish to seat. Um, and you see this young halfling girl uh, come out from the back and is making her way over to your table. Um, she brings over uh, a few menus, enough for everybody. Um, she says, and she goes, Can I start you all out with a drink? Dagny, uh, Dagny will look at her and say, Ah, uh, Fraulein, uh, 
and what is your name, please? That me that we may cause you the, as as you assist us in our getting of the food, yeah. Uh, the young woman looks up at you and goes, "Oh, my apologies. You can you you could call me Alyssa. My name is Alyssa Mains." Alyssa, ah, wunderbar, wunderbar. Uh, please, I would like uh, to start a small glass of wasser and whatever the normal people here in the Portland drink. Yeah. Mm. Uh, would you like a uh, non-alcoholic or alcoholic? Oh, nine, nine on the alcohol. Yeah, yeah. Only special occasions. Yeah. Fair enough. Anyone else want to drink besides water? Yeah, um... Let's take a coffee. Coffee? Sounds good. I'll take coffee as well, please. Two coffees? Uh... Uh, make yeah, it three. But, oh, I, I'm, I'm sorry. Um... Uh, once my friend's done ordering, I, I'm like, do you, do you have Coke or Pepsi? Oh, we have, uh... I'm going to flip a coin for this. I'm asking the real questions here, folks. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I feel like he doesn't get the word he wants us in the street somebody. I'm scared. Wait, wait. This is uh, a mock brand diner. What do you want um, for heads or for heads? Uh, heads is Coke. Tails is Pepsi. Hey, Google. Flip a coin. I have a quarter right here. It's head, so we have. Oh, there we go. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll have a cherry coke. Ooh, very. Give me one second. Well, hi, Mikey. Sneaky Mikey over here. <laughs> what can I say? Um, excuse me. Excuse me. You're a person, not a rogue. Thank you. You sneak at disadvantage. Oh my god. Oh, I love it. <laughs> um, oh my god. So, so she says, oh, wonderful. Uh, we actually just got our freestyle machine fixed. So uh, we can definitely get you really any flavor of Coke you want. So if you want a cherry Coke, I'll get you a cherry Coke. Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a freestyle machine? Yes. Um, I'll just have a coffee. <laughs> Okay. Why it like looks like super super annoyed? Uh, two cream, <laughs> two creams and uh, sugar, please. That was that's fair. Why do you have something against those uh, freestyle machines? Uh, you you ever had a soda out of one of them? I tell you what, they are terrible. <laughs> like they are not good. Um, I'd rather drink water, and I never drink water. <laughs> I don't know how to drink soda, so. To be honest with you, this is the first thing that I haven't drank that hasn't been alcohol in like two years. I'm surprised I'm still alive. So, uh, and then last but not least, I think, uh, Alex, you still have to order your drink. Just, just water for me. Just water. All right, so that is one, two, three, four coffees. Uh... A special of whatever we drink here. And just the water. I will be right back with all of that. And she goes ahead and makes her way back into the kitchen. So as you're sitting there, you have a chance to look over the menus and stuff. There's a lot of your classic diner foods. Um, very mom and pop style diner. Um, it seems like they really... Nothing high end or anything, but they seem to order pretty much anything for any taste out there. There's fish, there's uh, burgers, meatloaf, uh, salads, soups, whatnot. Um, so you have a chance to go ahead and read through the uh, read through the menu, um, and while you're reading through it, you all get a text message. Um, and the text message is from Ramon. 
the beginning of the text message is actually uh, him responding to uh, you, Josh. I'm sorry, uh, to you, Thorgnir, um, about that uh, bottled potion you found in the weapon shop. Uh, Mikey, can you tell me exactly what you said? I didn't write it down. Sorry. <laughs> so. <laughs> I got you. I got it right here. Yeah, I sent it to oh. Josh, so I'll have him read it. <laughs> okay, it says. Um, could not identify the contents from that bottle for the picture. Do not know, know much about potions and the like. However, I am currently on my way to Portland. And I can get a better look at it in person. Stay safe, and I'll see you all very soon. With love, Ramon. Yes. Um, and then, uh, shortly after that, you did get a second message saying that Ramon, Ramon's train just pulled into the station and uh, was wondering where you all are at. So, uh, Dagny will... Um... Dagny actually doesn't uh, uh, touch the his his pad. Um, he has Hans. Uh, he'll telepathically tell Hans to to, to bring the, the the pad. So, you know, the unseen servant floats the pad, and and, and uh, Dagny does the thing where he like adjusts his glasses to the the bottom of his nose, and he reads from down looking down the bottom of his nose, like ah oh, yeah 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 Hans. Hans, ty- type to Ramon that we are at Dottie's Diner. Yeah, Dottie with, with two T's, two T's. Yeah, no, no Hans, that's an H. No, the H does not like, does not look like two T's. Nine, nine Hans, nine. Yeah, two, one, two. Uh, ve- very, very good. Yeah, yeah, okay. Hit send, yeah, very good. Sir. One of the cooks is just peeking from behind the window, listening to and listening at the rambling. All right, and before that, uh, Ramon, um, can you please make a dexterity check for me? Well, sure. I say a dexterity save. Uh, okay. <laughs> the dexterity saving. Barbarian gets advantage on these things, so this is gonna be fun. <laughs> okay, hopefully the second one is better. <laughs> oh, much better. Okay, that is a seventeen. Seventeen. All right. Uh, so as uh, Alyssa starts making her way to the tables with the drinks. Uh, Ramon comes through the doors. Um, and Alyssa does, like, this acrobatic move where she just twirls out of the way of the door and Ramon without spilling a single drop of any of the drinks. Um, and she makes her way to your tables and serves you all your drinks. And now, Ramon, you're there. Why <laughs> golf claps? <laughs> yeah, Dagny will give a. Dagny's totally gonna give a round of applause. Alyssa goes ahead and bows. Same. And uh, after doing that, and bows and, and just says, "Yeah, I learned that one for my sister, from my sister." So, so, uh, have you had time to look over the menus? Are you all ready for? for your food? Uh, yeah. I mean, Ramon just got here, so um, oh. uh, he can go last. Uh, <laughs> and Wyatt slides his menu over to Ramon. That's fair. So after kind of finding a place to sit, Ramon is like quickly looking over the menu as everyone else's orders are being taken. And uh, Alyssa looks at you and goes, uh, Ramon, is it, did they say? Uh, that is correct. <laughs> Uh, okay. Would you like anything to drink? Do you got some good old-fashioned root beer around here? <laughs> yes, we do. We actually brew our own root beer. Uh, or we make our own root beer. So that is the only thing that doesn't come out of the Coca-Cola's freestyle machine. <laughs> All right. Well, that's even better. Then I'll have one of those kindly, please. One 
powerful. I'll go grab that quick and I'll be back to take the rest of your orders. Why and... grum why grumbles? <laughs> <laughs> It'll be she, quick. she no, she's no, because she didn't tell him about the root beer. She she just said that the pop came out of the freestyle machine. So now he's like he's like <laughs> Trying to like read the menu where it says that they make their own root beer because he missed it and he's upset with himself. <laughs> uh, she goes to start walking away and she kind of stops and goes, "Y'all ain't from around here, are you?" Uh, Dagny, Dagny's gonna do the slow turn, right? The slow turn as the theremin no. in the background. Right, and his smile, his smile is nice and wide, uh, and he will say, "Whatever do you mean, Fraulein? As you see, I am decked out in what the normal Portlander person wears. Yeah, make a persuasion check for me. Oh boy! <laughs> Before she gets too creeped out, I also ask her to bring a. Uh, cup or a bowl of water or something for Leo. Right. 17! 17! <laughs> Alright, so, um... She... She kind of glances at you and she's like, sure you are. I mean... Miss, I mean, I tell you what, we're no more from here than you are. Like, I mean, y y you sound more like where I'm from than than Portland. Yeah, my uh, my family moved out here while I was pretty young. So, uh, before my before my sister was born, um. So I got a lot of exposure from my parents and being around the house, so they have a lot thick, thicker accent, accent than me, so... Uh... But... But no! That is completely fair. But if you need... And if you also have any idea, any thoughts of what you want to do around here, I can definitely suggest a few places. Uh, so don't... So feel free to... To reach out. And she's gonna go ahead and start walking back into... Um... The kitchen to get the water and the root beer. Wyatt, like, turns over his shoulder to to the table behind him, and he's like, we should, uh, we should adopt her. Like, we should bring her back with us to the, to the academy. Like, we could make her life so much better than having to work here in this, in this place. Uh, I want to, with the minor, though, we're supposed to be some sort of, like, you know, secret agent. How would we get them? Secret. Oh, we, it's a secret? Well, then why Definitely am I... Definitely not a cult. Uh, then, <laughs> then, I mean, if if it was such a secret, then why then why am I walking around with these two desert eagles? You work security, we work for a school. It's that simple. Oh, and and um, and a, a, a friend over here who... Um, never mind. Uh, I'm just gonna... I... Don't have anything for that one. I'm still Dag trying to figure him out. Dagny just Dagny slowly brings up one of the one of the pennants and just like waves it and then slowly brings it down under the table. I'm not even sure where he got that stuff. Um, can I have everybody here to make a uh, perception check for me? Cool. Alright, let's take a look. 16 for Rashmi. Oh, okay. That's not horrible. That would be... 22. Okay. I posted mine in the uh, commentary corner, but uh, 21. Alright. Perception, so... you said? Yes. Dirty 20. 
Okay. Um, so, you don't, uh, the rest of you don't, uh, really realize this except for, uh, Dagny, Ramon, and Thorgmir. Alyssa has a striking re- resemblance to a good friend of yours, Sarah. Mmm. I should have known. <laughs> So, uh, she returns back to the tables and brings the rest of the drinks and goes, Okay, now I'd be glad to take your water. And the three of you, as she speaks now and you realize this, um, you can kind of hear similarities to Sarah. Yeah, so, uh... <laughs> I'm going to need about three orders of these five uh, stack pancakes. Uh, I'm going to need the biggest plate of bacon and eggs and potatoes you guys got. I'm going to need two chocolate milkshakes and another coffee. Well, well, well. Got me working overtime tonight, don't you? Uh, I don't know where I put it. <laughs> well, don't worry about it. I can make sure I make it. And moves on to the next person, uh, which would be uh, Thorgmir. Okay, um, question. Uh, for, like, their cheeseburgers and stuff, do they have, like, a uh, house-made, like, special sauce? Um, they do. Um, they normally serve it on the side because they know, um, so the picture in, in the menu, it looks like your, your regular cheeseburger, uh, you could get double, triple, whatnot, a bacon, um, and there is, like, a small cup on the side of their, uh, their house sauce. Um, she explains, uh, we put it on the side because, uh, not everyone... Uh, likes uh, that sauce. Um, and it's it's honestly a preference. It's not like it's they don't say it's bad or anything. It's just not their taste. So, uh, so it's always free to add, to have that. So you can choose to to have it with it, or uh, or you don't need to. Okay, then uh, tell you what, I'll have the uh, the double stack cheeseburger, double bacon, um, the house made sauce, order of fries, and then I hold the menu down to Leo, and I say, "What do you want, Leo?" And he immediately sticks his snoot right to where it says hot dog. Ah. And then I'll great, good. Choice. Then I look at her and I says, "Eh." <laughs> Good choice. And she kind of bends down, gives Leonidas a little pet on the head, and uh, takes out a dog treat out of her pocket, looks up at you, Thorgan, and goes, May I? By all means. And she goes ahead and gives Leonidas a treat. (laughs) Okay, I want to say this for added cuteness. He doesn't really take it because... Usually, he wants to show people how good of a boy he is. Mm -hmm. So I tell her the only way he'll take it from a stranger is if you lay the uh, the dog biscuit on his nose and then say, okay, it's yours. Ooh, you have a fancy dog, don't you? She goes ahead and she... And somehow... She goes ahead and puts it on her nose, on uh, Leonidas' nose stands there and is like looking at at uh, Leonidas and eventually just goes it's yours and he he throws his head back as hard as he can throwing this biscuit all the way almost up to the roof and as it's falling back he stands back on his hind legs almost standing like a human and then catches it and sits back down starts crunching on the biscuit and his tail's just wagging Alyssa gives a little bit of a giggle and, and says, Oh, please tell me y'all are moving here. I want to play with this 
this little one as much as possible. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll say we'll think we'll think about it. Sounds good. All right, I got your order, uh, Edgar. What will you be having? I think I'll also be having the uh, the uh, cheeseburger. Um, maybe just some onion pickles, maybe, um, and uh, all of the French fries you can you can manage. Ah, so you want <laughs> you want our truffle fries, don't you? And you look at the menu, and it literally looks like a feeding trough, just full of fries. Basically, if you think I need more, the answer is already yes. All right, all right. Sounds good to me. Uh, now, uh, Dagny, what will you be having? The disco fries to start with, and then I will have the waffle, uh, with the blueberries, yeah. I like the blueberries, they make me very happy. And after that, I will have a cup of the ramen, yeah. Fair choice. Good choices. All right. Uh, Wyatt. Um, ma'am, uh, I would like, um, a cup of chili, uh, extra sour cream, um, for the appetizer. Uh, my, uh, and I'd also like, uh, um, an order of, uh, onion rings for the table. And uh, then I would also like, uh, for my personal meal, um, I'm gonna have uh, the, the huevos rancheros, um, eggs over easy, um, uh, American fries well done, uh, and then um, toast, wheat, extra butter, and uh, some Raspberry jelly. Sounds like a plan to me. All right. Uh, Ramon? Uh, I'm, I'm quite simple. Um, I'll just take a chicken parmesan and some rice and vegetables, please, as a side. Very nice. And finally, Alex. You know, what would you recommend? What makes this place special? What makes Daddy's Dinosaur special? Clearly the service. I would say our omelets. We have, uh, we, there is a competition that happens uh, in one of the nearby cities that uh, we enter in every year. And we always enter the eggs uh, food competition and our omelets have never failed us yet sounds good load it up I'll have one of those alright any specific toppings um not particularly okay. load it up with whatever you got sounds good alright so I'll go before ahead. she leaves or, hmm? well, sorry before you head back for the order could I change that burger to uh, an omelet myself? Certainly. Any uh, any specific toppings for you? As she uh, like, crosses it out. I still want the fries. Yes. Uh, and uh, I'm um, assuming here in the north, the northwest, we we've got some pretty good salmon. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's let's uh, let's try that. Maybe with a little, some mushrooms, maybe, and onion. Perfect. I will get that right up for you. Uh, so, it'll just be a little bit to get this all cooked up. Uh, our other chef should be coming back from break, so I'll at least have a little help to get everything up faster for you. But, uh, we'll be back soon. And she's going to go ahead and walk back to the kitchen. As soon as the kitchen door flaps closed, Dagny is going to 
do the whole like kind of like he's gonna like jump forward onto his elbows right and he's gonna uh put both his hands in fists and like rest his his, his head on his hands and he's gonna look at everyone and he's like yeah did everyone see the resemblance that that individual had to our friend our, our friend sarah yeah no yeah, no, it it is very very similar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oot, oot. Even, even, even the voice, the voice very very similar. You know, Han, I've, I'm going to have Hans text Sarah and and ask if she if she has a sister here. Hans, Hans, yeah, come, yeah, Hans, come here, come here, and you know, again, the unseen servant comes around. And Dagny will be like, yeah, Hans, uh, 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 send send a message to Sarah uh, via group. Text, yeah. Uh, do you have Unt sister here in Seattle? Yeah. Uh, after you send it, you get an almost immediate response in all caps, no spaces, and it just says, I don't have a sister. She has a sister. Definitely Ooh. has a sister. <laughs> They have apparently. Does she work at this diner? <laughs> Seven. She replies back, and uh, it's the same exact text again. I don't have a sister. That's a yes. Don't worry, we haven't said anything. Send. And but we this... could. And then on the next uh, text, it's just. I don't have a sister, I don't have a sister! Just repeated wall of text over and over uh, from her. And then eventually Layla chimes in and just goes, God damn it, I'm taking your phone away. <laughs> Dude. Whose phone? Question mark. <laughs> Oopsies! Uh, Sarah's. Oh, okay. Oops. Should I mess with her now? Yeah, Ramon saying yes. Well, she seems a, a she, she does seem a bit upset about this whole situation. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. We can ask her later. <laughs> I was I'll like, start messing with her in the chat, but if you guys don't, want, don't feel like that's appropriate, then we can wait. Well, I mean, her phone did get taken right. away. So what's the point of seeing it? <laughs> That's true. Layla is very persistent about that stuff. She's Let's do it in person. She's she's not actually taking it away. It was just one of those. You're so oh, okay. fucking annoying. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> um, Alyssa comes back out, um, and delivers uh, root beer to Thor beer as a little secretive uh ask, from him. and she goes ahead and goes to. Actually, she says. Does sound like y'all are pretty lively over here. Hey, uh, hey, you know, you know, you said you wanted us to move here. Can, can you do me a favor? Uh, can you get in with everybody? Like, I wanna, I, I got this iPad and I'm gonna take everybody's picture, but I need you, I need it to be like an authentic thing. You need to be part of the picture. Oh, of course. So, like, why it gets up and like why it's good at shooting things, <laughs> including pictures. And uh, so he like gets this big this big selfie and gets everybody to crowd in and like takes a picture wrapping his arm around um, our friend's sister, um, like not in like a, a forward way, but in like a friendly, um, like we made friends with your sister kind of way and uh, snaps off a couple of photos. And he's like, I, I tell you what, your hospitality has been amazing. Like I said, uh, Dottie's Dinah clearly is known for its service. Well, thank you, and you haven't even tried the food yet. And she kind of like, almost like super proud of herself, turns around and goes walking back into the kitchen. And then Wyatt sends that to the group chat, and it, all it says is, we're making friends. <laughs> yes! <laughs> um... Before Alyssa had completely walked away, I had posted a thing commentary corner. Uh, when she delivers, uh, 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 calls at her a little bit, nudges his water bowl, basically asking to for more water. Oh yeah, she she feels it. 
Uh, awesome. Um, surprisingly, it's uh, the um, the chat. She hasn't really responded yet to that one. And uh, as you're has the there, picture been seen though? It's been seen. Uh, really, that's just my question. Hmm. Yep. She. It's definitely been seen. Um. And you. When you click on it, you can see that. Uh, Layla and Sarah have both seen it. Um. And you are. Uh, you're watching, waiting for her response, and all of a sudden. Uh, you notice um, the number of people in the group chat just decreased by one. Oops. Uh oh. And Layla texts you back and goes, Oh, y'all done it now. You might want to check your hotel rooms before you go to sleep. I just got here. <laughs> In my defense, I have no idea what's Get going away. on. I just work here. Send. You can receive a reply. Uh-huh. I put in the group chat. I just got here. Would I miss? <laughs> yeah, we are discovering secret families that people do not want people to know that, that, that they are secret. But they are not secret because we have discovered that they are not secret. So they can are no just... longer be secret. And now they have... Evolved from secret family to family, yeah. Then? So, <laughs> so uh, Layla replies back and goes, Yeah, that's what I figured. Her, her twin sister lit, uh, works at the diner here. And Sarah, Sarah doesn't talk about Portland much anymore. Or her life before she came to Seattle, so you I don't anytime someone brings it up that knows it she can get a little feisty about it. So uh I heard her sister is pretty pretty nice, so maybe you can find out more from her if uh if she wants to talk about it, I don't know what her feelings on the situation are. Wouldn't it make it worse if we admit that uh, we know her sister? I don't know. You know what? I'm the one that normally does the stupid stuff. I'll do it. I'll take the fall for it. Good luck. And uh, may the odds be ever in your favor. And I'll look to the rest of the group and win. Uh, if she asked, I was shit face drunk. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> works that, that tracks. Yeah. Attracts. <laughs> I've sent Lila a private message saying that exact same thing. So, she comes out again and brings the first, uh, couple of plates she only has to her hands. Um, and she places down the food in front of, uh, Dagny and Rashmi. And she goes to turn her way to go back. Uh, Alyssa, real quick. Yeah, I just up? realized you look very similar to a, a friend of mine. What was her name? Uh, Sarah. Wait. Hold that thought. And Hold it. She runs back into the kitchen and you <laughs> see her shout at the other cook. Cook, you're on service city. I'm going on break. And she comes running back out. <laughs> like, all right. <laughs> so, you know my sister. She's your sister. That's why y'all look so familiar. It makes so much sense now. Uh, apparently, I do. Uh, she doesn't seem to like the fact that uh, we're out here. She doesn't seem to like Oregon very much. Um, but <sighs> do you know why? It's kind of weird. She's like, every other state, awesome. Oregon, fuck Oregon. I don't know. It's weird. Uh, I don't. I don't really remember 
what got into her? I just... I remember... We... I mean, I still have the apartment. I mean, she's still technically paying her half of it. Um... She was never... She used to love it here. Like, uh, she used to... Uh, hang out here at the diner all the time. Uh, she got a job at in the mall at the magic item shop, um, and she she really enjoyed it. And then suddenly, her mood just completely changed. It hmm, maybe it was no, it can't be. She hasn't even mentioned family. She's like very. You know, I don't have no family, kind of, you know, very adamant about that. Something happened between you and her, or your parents, or... She was very... You know, she was just very... Not... Uh... Enjoying. She just started not enjoying the area, she was like... Kissy at people who should never go out. Um, I and then she left. Um, I just saw her packing everything up, and she, um, she didn't say a word to me as she was doing it. Next thing I know, she's out the door and on the train. Um, so I don't. So I don't. Maybe she just. Something happened that she wants to forget about and just completely erase that time. Why it's but like, why does she yeah. want to? Oh, go ahead. Why would she want to erase her family? You know, certain memories might pop up, like just tangentially in the area that can trigger other memories that might not be as happy. Like, she, uh, if maybe if she is just thinking about her family in Oregon, then she's gonna start thinking about the bad part that made her get into whatever mood she was in. So maybe she's just trying to block it out and not, um, not think about see, it. Never see, see. That. That's not healthy. And, you know, trust me, I'm the king of unhealthy coping skills. So I don't know, that's not... That's not very good. Well, I wish I could talk to her. I know what's going on. Uh, but <laughs> I could possibly make that happen. Will she your sister try to kill me? Probably. More like definitely. You know what? I am willing to take that risk. If you are, I, I've tried to reach out to her. She's complete. She was completely off the grid. Like, where is she now? I'm gonna let her do that explaining if she's willing to talk to you. That's that's perfectly perfectly fair. Um, but yeah, she completely like erased herself from any records. I couldn't get any. No one's seen her. Everyone's. Uh, it's just. I mean, I, I was... saw. I, I mean, I saw her earlier. <laughs> we all did, as we're checking into our hotel rooms. Mm-hmm. Well. Which is scary because she knows where we sleep. Oh. Do, do, I mean, do, you, oh, do any y'all have ways I... of? Uh... Finding traps. Where my eyes. I mean, if anybody hurts your sister, Wyatt just like reaches down no, and like. It's more of her hurting us, Wyatt. Y- yeah, but the but the reason why she is the way she is, like, if say someone was untoward towards her, and like Wyatt gets that look on his face, like if somebody put their eyes on her. And you get like that. That you, you realize that's the same thing he said before the uh, those stalker eyes look were like look eyeball Wyatt before you shot him. Yep. 
she's like, Ugh. I'd love to see some kind of skill competition. I wonder what will hit the target first, your bullet or her daggers. But I'm glad to know she's alive. Honestly, after years of searching, all I got told by police and search parties is that there's a good possibility that she, she's dead. No, she's very alive and very angry at us. And you know what? I am, and in that case, I'm kind of mad at her because I had to walk through th those freaking slum areas to get to where I put her gravesite. Ugh. Those. Maybe your anger will be enough to convince her not to fucking kill us. Um, well, with that being said, this food looks great. I'm gonna eat it. Hopefully it's not my last meal. Um, yeah. Um, throughout this time, the chef is, the chef was bringing out the rest of all of your food. Um, and she go and Alyssa goes, well, if it helps her to stay quiet, just let me know. Um, I can let y'all in after we close. And can make I was just gonna. My my plan was just to bring her straight to where her hotel room was. That's probably not the best idea. I'm not very good at coming up with ideas, but. Cause, cause the moment our family has been connected by some kind of magical force where we know when we're within the same building. The only reason I didn't know is because she's gotten good at hiding it. Like, I still don't sense it. But I bet she still could sense me. And she'll be out that window before I even step in the front door. Well, alright, then I'll try to talk her to come over here. Well, good luck. And armor up. You'll probably need it. <laughs> it's a good thing I'm a drunkard. That's my excuse to why I even mention anything. I was drunk, right, guys? Yeah. Yeah, yeah very, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So she asked, yeah. I was shit faced drunk. Indeed. She, uh... That's why he ordered coffees to try to soak himself up. <laughs> well, I uh, thank you for your help. Uh, listen, I know a lot about what's going on in town. So if you help me with this and getting me to getting me a chance to just talk with her, any rumors I'll let you know about. Appreciate that. Uh, yeah, that, that is very appreciative. Uh, having said that, um, as he pops one of the disco fry, uh, Dagny pops one of his disco fries uh, in his mouth. Uh, are there any interesting uh, cults about the city? Uh, that have uh, that have been seen around uh, the uh, monstrosity of a building site that they have going on a few blocks away. Yeah. <laughs> she kind of giggles. It's like, oh, those red coke, ke those red coat fucks. Yeah. yeah. What, was, what, was, what was that? Red, red coat? Red coke? As in the red, soda? Red coat. Yeah. So, British people. Hans, copy this down, Hans. Yeah, they were here. And uh, they kind of got driven out of the city pretty quick. Were they British? She kind of looks at you and just like a... Like that, that tone of sight that says, Really, bitch? You said red coat. Yeah, because the they were rare, rare The British are coming, the British are coming. Like, like I saw them on the, uh, the friggin' TV when when their hideout was was found out. Um, It was them. 
I don't even remember their name. I don't really care. They came in, they went to that site. Um, and then, yeah, I actually remember, I saw them walking by the windows towards the construction site. And then I saw them running away from the construction site. Um, and when I looked outside, they... It, oh shit, they went out towards the slums. <laughs> and she just starts cackling. <laughs> oh, guess we won't ever hear from her, hear from them again. And why would you say that? <laughs> oh, the, the folks that it's like a little mini village out there. Uh, they like to live outside city limits, so they don't have to follow any most of the rules. Uh, what is that classic movie? Oh, man. Oh! It's like a scene out of Mad Max out there. Oh, gnarly. <laughs> yeah, like you got... Uh, yeah, it is, it is insane. And the people out there, ooh. They are not fun to get on your bad side. And anyone who's just coming through their town, you better be good with words or, uh, you ain't making it across. Uh, you mentioned a uh, hideout of these red coats, yeah? Uh, and would you have knowledge of where this hideout was that they were driven of? The hiding of the yeah. hideout? Yeah, it was in, uh, Houston. It, it looked like they had some kind of odd hideout, like, beneath, uh, this destroyed library. I remember, th uh, them moving some of the, uh, bodies out of there. Uh, pretty gruesome. Fraulein Elisa, I am very appreciative of you. Yeah, just know that it will be reflected in your tip that Hans will leave, yeah. Well, I'm much appreciated. And she goes to turn back uh, behind the counter. Um, while you all have time to have your food. It would be at this uh, point, I hand over to Wyatt that ice co uh, an ice cold root beer. Where did my root beer go? <laughs> <laughs> no, Alyssa, Alyssa brought out a second one. Uh, Thorgbear kind of nudged her and whispered to her. Uh, definitely obliged. Thank you. Uh, thank you, friend. I appreciate you. You look good looking out. Uh, I mean, I hope everybody's enjoying the onion rings. I mean, when I ordered them for the table, I meant it was for everyone. And uh, I'm the only one eating them, and you're making me uncomfortable. Oh, we got onion rings? Hold up. I want to know that Rashmi eats every single bite of food that he ordered. And he ordered a bunch of food. Dagny will trade a disco fry for an onion ring. I definitely will make that trade. Um, uh, once I'm sure that uh, uh, we are definitely not being listened to, um, Watts like, did you hear that, uh, fellas? Uh, we made the news. Yeah, was that? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. That that is that is interesting. Yeah. It's good to see that we made the news, and then um, Daddy's handiwork was displayed to everybody. Well, uh, that was not all mine. Nine, I That's cannot true. It. No, we couldn't I'm handle afraid. the awesome power of sugar cakes. I'm glad that is where the group got quiet. <laughs> <laughs> no, out of character, I'm laughing because, like, I'm sorry. Continue. Y'all are y'all are trying to be quiet about this, right? Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. I like I said, I waited until there was clearly no one around. Okay. I mean, and 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 when when uh, um, Rashmi says that's the time to get quiet about it, like why it's like literally chewing an onion ring, and he's like, "What? I don't talk with my mouth full." Thanks, Wyatt. Appreciate it. Yeah, those are very good manners. Yeah, uh, my friends, I I do have a concern to uh to bring up though. Uh, 
as was stated that these uh these fonts they do attract uh of the magical types and i am afraid that uh these uh, cultists might still be pounding around the area yeah in the slums would be my guess yeah um i think we have to after we're done eating um, maybe we should consider taking a peek. I'm totally down for that. Give me like 20 minutes, I can make myself look pretty slow, mate. We might run, into, that... some... might run into some, uh, old friends. Or make new ones. And if there's any, and if there's any trouble, uh, Wyatt, uh, Mr. Wyatt over here is really good at, uh, I air quote, negotiating. Wyatt looks over at Dagny and just smiles and says, Wave your little pendant, friend. It sounds like we're going to hunting problems. Important. Yeah, this is, yeah, this is very good. For you see, I am dressed like a regular Portland person, yeah. And I will blend in. All right. so you'll I also want to state real quick. When Wyatt says, looks like we're going hunting, Leo pops his head up after just finishing a hot dog. He hasn't had a chance to lick his lips yet. And he turns and he looks. And the way the ketchup on the hot dog was, it looks like his face is covered in blood. And he just starts wagging his tail, giving you big puppy eyes and just tail just wagging. So you've had your time to eat and chat. Um, Melissa comes back out and gives you your check. Um, and uh, the check is about. Uh, the check comes about out to a little over two hundred dollars. Why it's like, uh, friends, this one's on me. I got this. Uh, if you all want to cover the tip, I've got the, I got the food. Um, additionally, uh, you take a look at the the check and rash me for your coffee. It actually uh, says under it uh, uh, three shots, um, alcoholic shots. Um, but that. Uh, Supposedly went into your drink, but then as you look down at the bottom, you see the dis you see it discounted for the amount of shots that were in there, as kind of a way to help keep up the alibi that you were drunk. <laughs> Smart. Um, and at the bottom of the page, uh, it also has her name and her chat ID so that you can reach out to her when you're available to chat. So, we're gonna go ahead and move into, uh, back out into the streets. Moving real quick here. Is this the part where, Riku, where we're gonna get jumped by another little halfling? She's just gonna ninja us? Um... I wouldn't say jumped, per se. Ashley's incredibly paranoid now is constantly checking for traps. Because he know he just got fucked up. Low, 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 low. There we go. Aha. So, uh, you all s step outside of the, um, step outside of the diner. You're back on the streets. It's clearly evening. Um, and as you hear, um, as you are getting your bearings, um, you hear a, uh, in your heads, um, uh, by essentially the message spell, you hear Sarah's voice that goes, Hotel. Lobby. Now. Oops. So what are y'all gonna do? You guys, <laughs> you guys want 
uh, I can go ahead and take the brunt of that, and you guys can go ahead and do your uh, your snooping. Mm, I don't mind going with you. I got to drop off my stuff anyway since I just got here. Yeah, I mean, nine, nine, yeah, nine. I, th- I think we should all go together. Yeah, you know, I mean, we're we're a group. We're one big you, happy family. You hear again from uh uh from from the message message spell to all of you. Uh, he goes. I can see you. You're not moving to the hotel. Hotel. Yeah. Uh, you can respond to message spells, right? I believe so. It's like up to 30 words or something, or it used to be? Uh, yes. Uh, why just responds, uh, you're adorable like your sister. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, and just starts walking, and just starts walking back to the hotel. Well, I don't know what I walked into, but we're going to find out together. Um, I feel so, we're dead. Ay, uh, Dios mio. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you, you're, you're back in the... I'm not going to sw- switch the scene just yet. But you are back in the uh, hotel lobby... It's empty. Um, pretty much the front desk is closed. Uh, there's someone in the back, obviously. Uh, and as you look around, um, can everyone make a perception check for me? Why most certainly. A big 21 for Wyatt. I also got a 21. That is a dirty 20. Me too, Dagny. Me too. Big ol' five. Um, okay. 17. Okay. Um, as you're standing around there looking for, uh, looking for where Sarah is, um, who got 21s again? I did. I did. Okay. The two of you, uh, just, you see just a blur just go flat across your face. Like, you don't, you can't comprehend what it is, but you just saw, like, fabric just zoom by you. Um. Like it missed us? Uh, yes. Okay. Um, or it just, either it missed you, or it was, it just ran really, really fast past you. Um, Edgar, let's see, uh, Edgar, uh, you see this blur as well, but you could feel something just bop you as, as it's running past. Uh, Ramon, what did you get? Oh. I got a dirty 20. <laughs> dirty 20. Okay, yeah, you, you just see the blur. And Thorgmir, what did you get? It was a 17. Okay, so you, you they actually go right past you, and uh, you feel like a little tap against your head. Dagny and Brashmi on your big ol' fives. We took the leftover fries and onion rings, and we're just in the back eating them. This sounds about right. You two uh, suddenly uh, feel a fist just hit against your skull. Ow. Uh, Each of you take two points of bludgeoning damage. And as all the blurring stops, you see Sarah right there. Pissed what? as all hell. Yep, yeah, angry. Sounds about right. <laughs> ah, okay. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. Clearly. Again, I just got here. I don't know what happened. Rashmi <laughs> was doing his game on uh, I'm drunk as fuck thing. What the fuck was that for? Make a deception check for me. Oh, so like I'm actually good at. Did they drop the? Did you just drop the onion rings? 
No. <laughs> Nineteen. I would. I would like to to think that. Um. So Hobbs Dag- was probably holding him. Well, Dag. Yeah, Dagny caught the 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 um the fist in the face, right? And like the onion rings and the onion ring basket like fly in slow motion as a uh, um as Handel, uh aria plays right in like dramatic fashion when hans just uh, unseen servantly like grabs the basket and like scoops up all the onion rings to save save them all nice. Nice. Cool. Uh, Rashby, real quick, what is your modifier on deception? Seven. Seven? Okay. Um, she takes a look at you and goes, goes, hmm, I guess. By the way, she rolled the same as you for, for, for insight, but you have the higher modifier, so. <laughs> She's skeptical. Damn. But she's gonna believe you. He's also, I mean, if, if it helps you, also, he'll pop his flask out and take out a drink. Up, right? Like, that's not a problem. <laughs> so, uh, she goes, <sighs> What you learned tonight, we never speak of again. She wants to talk to you. Well, I don't want to talk to her. I'm sensing some hostility there. <laughs> Why? And she's, you can see her grumbling. Like. Just. It's in the past. The rash is going to drop the facade and get very serious. Sarah, this is a family. You don't push away your family. I know what it's like to lose, especially a sibling. One that was once close with. She thought you were dead. If I learned that my sister is still alive, I would do anything in my power to vent her and see her again. She thought she buried you. She has a grave site for you. Which, which, Rashmi, I tell you what, which is a little odd given the fact that she acknowledged that uh, you keep paying your rent. <laughs> it's an automatic charge. Yeah, but if you were dead, like, it wouldn't come out of them. It wouldn't be a bank account for it to come out of. I mean, but she does have a grave. I mean, she moaned you. I mean, isn't there a thing in the slums to see you. See the grave that she made for you. You released an over her hello at the most. At the minimum. She goes and sits down at one of the couches. Uh, first and foremost, uh, Rashmi, take a point of inspiration for that. I was going to have you roll persuasion, but no, that was amazing. <laughs> um, she takes a sit- seat down and gives a deep breath and goes, My, when I was young, this was home. And my, before I joined the academy, my parents were a part of it. Uh, that's why... Uh, that's why me and my sister got our apartment together. They t- send gifts and money and notes to let us... And calls just to let us know they're okay. And then they started coming less and less and less and less till they stopped coming at all. Can I... And that's when, like, things started getting dark. I didn't want to go out. I didn't want to see anybody. Eventually, I just didn't want to be here. Because everywhere I turned, I saw my parents go to the mall and I see them bringing me and my sister to stores. I go to the diner and I see my mom blowing milkshake bubbles to make us laugh. 
we go to the convenience store and I see my dad shooting this just chatting about car parts or whatever with uh, the person there I I couldn't escape them and yet it felt like I don't know if they died or if they just abandoned us but it it was not good when so when Melinda, when Melinda eventually recruited me to the academy, I was happy again. Because I knew there was a chance that I could see my parents again. That, that I'm going to be able to join them on this adventure. Alyssa was never one for fighting or anything like that. She was very simple, but I was so happy that I packed up and moved out there as soon as I could. But when I got there, they were, they were nowhere to be seen. They, their devices were disabled. They haven't been seen in years. I felt lost again. But the folks at the academy became my family. And that's when I decided that it was, this was going to be my family. That nothing else mattered. That I didn't have to think about any of that anymore. Because I had a new family that I knew was going to stick by me forever. And you see as she kind of puts her head down and you see as... Tears start rolling down her cheeks. Rashmi just hands over the um, the number and the call and the ID. Uh, but there is a visible vein of anger in his forehead as he hands it to her and he walks out. She, she looks, she sees Rashmi. She looks down and she looks up at you and can see, and can see that you're visibly upset. And she tries to turn back and goes, I'm sorry. Whatever I said, whatever I've done, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I kept this from y'all. I'm sorry I've been acting this way. It's not the fact that you kept it from us. It's the fact that you abandoned your sister when she thinks her parents are dead as well. And you left her on your own. And he leaves. Um. Uh, sits there quietly. Uh, Wyatt walks over what's left of the onion rings and fries and offers them to the halfling because he knows that halflings can't go more than 20 seconds without eating. And, <laughs> <laughs> I. <laughs> and, so... and, oh, and is like, you know, the thing about laugh is. It's easy to take, and I've taken a lot of them. But your sister, she seems, uh, she seems happy. Not happy because you're not there, but happy because you're alive. When we told her that you were alive, you should have seen the way her eyes lit up. You would have thought it was Christmas. Think about that and what Rashmi said, and uh, why, um. Uh, sets the onion rings down next to her, popping in the, the box open so she can get a good whiff of them, and like gently pats her on the on the back and and walks to his room. You do see, as you mention, how Alyssa was happy to hear that she was alive. You see a hint of a crack of a smile on her face, and she, she looks over at the onion rings and takes one and takes a bite out of one of them and just and you can see she's now more so crying and she just goes after all these years they're still so fucking good and she continues to eat them um enjoying the company of of Leonidas nuzzling her 
And at that point, she takes a moment to stand up, is holding the, the onion rings and the receipt, and goes to the rest of you who are still there and says, I'll talk to you all tomorrow. I have a lot to think about. And she walks towards the elevators and up to her room.